One of the top questions that I receive on a daily basis is, Melissa, how do I pick a crystal? And often my response is, you'll just know. And the person's usually all confused and they're just like, but how do I know? Well, there's three steps to kind of being able to pick your crystal, the one that you need at that time. Step one is to set an intention. So before you walk into a crystal store, or before you shop online for a crystal, you want to set your intention. What does that mean? Setting an intention, you can do this aloud or inside, but you, you want to, um, there's a reason why you're looking for a crystal, right? It's a healing crystal. So did you just go through a breakup? You might need rose quartz um, or crystacola is great for breakups. Are you battling with an addiction? Amethyst is great for addictions and it also opens the third eye. Are you suffering from a creativity block? You might need citrine. There's all different crystals that you might need, but it's really important to just set that intention before you start looking or else you don't know what you're looking for. The second step to finding the perfect crystal is using your intuition. Follow your intuition to pick the perfect stone. But what's your intuition? Melissa, well, so what does that mean? Um, your intuition is your inner self, your gut feeling. Do you ever just have this feeling where you know something's right or you know something's wrong? For an example, have you ever just walked into a house and you knew that you wanted to live there? Or you went to shop for a car and you just knew once you sat in that car that that was your car? That's your intuition and you use that same instinct to find the perfect crystal for you. Your intuition tells you how you feel beneath those layers of logic. You want to get to the root in that gut feeling. Intuition bridges the gap between instinct and logic. This is the ultimate connection between the conscious and the unconscious mind. Science actually tells us that only 20% of the brain's gray matter is dedicated to the conscious mind, while 80% of that matter is actually dedicated to the unconscious mind. This shows us how important it is to use your intuition. It's like your sixth sense. It's that gut feeling deep down that you know it will guide you in the right direction. Albert Einstein actually said that the intuition is the most valuable aspect of ourself, except it's the most unused aspect of ourselves. This is your inner self and your own spiritual guide. Don't feel like you're alone in this world. Use your intuition and your higher self to guide you. And this is the very aspect that you'll use in order to find the right crystal. So you may walk into a shop and you automatically either walk right or you walk left or you walk over here. This is your intuition guiding you to your crystal. So it's pretty magical when you see this happening and you recognize it. That's part of accessing your higher self. I know the first crystal that I bought literally jumped out at me. It was just this beautiful um, clear quartz gem and I saw it and I immediately, like I immediately knew that I needed that crystal and so that's the one that I bought and it was just a great experience and I do that all the time still even though I have like hundreds of crystals in my house I still use that same intuition. I may pick up a pile of gems like this and one might look, you know, a little bit more sparkly to me and I look prettier to my eye even though I feel like all gems are pretty. Um, but at this particular time, I can see that I'm being attracted to opal, which is a really, really beautiful stone. Ago, which was crazy to me because I, I never really look at opal. It's not really one of my favorite stones, but lately um, I really, really like this stone and it's kind of been calling out to me. And this particular stone is the stone of angels. And what's weird about that is I've been receiving a lot of angel numbers, which I can speak about in another video um, for you guys. But today I'm just gonna focus on the gemstones. So after your crystal calls out to you in the store or um, in a shop online, you're gonna want to move on to step three, which is waiting for a feeling. So your initial reaction to the crystals is 
they, one of them will pop out at you, right? So the next step to do that is pick it up, right? Feel it in your hand. Can you feel the vibration of it? Can you, does it feel warm? What is that feeling? Are you connecting to that stone? Because if you don't feel anything, you're not making a connection to that gem, right? So you're gonna want to move on to the next stone. But for sure, if your intuition guided you to a specific stone, once you pick that up, you will feel the vibration in your hand instantly. It's really, really beautiful. And that's how you'll know that that's the right stone for you. What's interesting about this step is that um, you can even have a feeling just by shopping online. She wrote me this really nice message and she said, Melissa, I had this dream last night that I found um, this really beautiful green stone. And she ordered the stone because she immediately just knew that that was the stone that she needed. And I just thought that was really cool. So it can happen anywhere. If you don't have access to a gem shop, if you're just shopping online, that one crystal will just pop out at you. It's really, really cool. I also had someone send me a message and said, uh, Melissa, I'm looking for a birthstone. And I really like this stone, and I really like this stone. But I really want a, a birthstone. So I actually said to him, that one stone that you first liked, that's actually your birthstone. So his intuition and his gut feeling, his higher self, led him to pick that stone. All right, if you guys like this video, or you just like crystals, click subscribe and like this video. Please leave a comment or question below. I love 